Hello all, my name is Kaylee Nichols, and I think it's time we make the world a better place. Do you see it? How tiny it is? Would you say that you eat food every day? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Who eats food? Because you like food. Yeah. I like, delicious. <laughs> I like food. Show of hands. I think it's something that everyone can take part in. Like, it's not extremely difficult to plant these and take care of them yourselves. How can we bring the population to a more sustainable future? Through the education of something that we all have in common. Food. The Climate Smart Agriculture Youth Network, or the CSAYN, can empower and provide the necessary tools for youth and women across the globe to secure a sustainable and prosperous future. With an emphasis on environmental education and sustainable agriculture practices, we aim to reach youth across all economic and social classes on a global scale. This is our call to action. Our primary target audience being some 2.2 billion youth in developed nations by 2050. The agricultural uncertainties based around adapting to climate change and ensuring food security are nothing short of urgent. Youth have great capabilities in shaping a more sustainable social and economic future only if we are willing to give them the proper tools. Building youth knowledge and skills in climate smart agriculture will enable them to make positive contributions in their communities and will impact the earth in many positive ways. With over 7 billion people on this planet, food production needs to become a viable option for youth to support themselves and their families. In developing nations, women in particular need to be empowered to support food security. Really, the two do go hand in hand. Currently in 19 African countries, secondary school completion for adolescent girls is below 5%. It is amazing what can be accomplished if you give people the proper tools. By providing young people without jobs, education, or training with an opportunity to be a part of climate smart agriculture, we can empower them to be leaders in a sustainable future. It has been recognized that when women or girls over the age of 16 earn an income, they reinvest 90% of what they earn back into their families. It is very possible with the help of government, civil society, and communities to educate and promote leadership and ensure proper health and nutrition information is provided to adolescent girls, which will enable them to participate in their community's economy. I believe in a better future, do you?